To me, whiskey is a joy juice. Drinking, talking about it, exchanging ideas, it brings a lot of joy. Certain whiskies actually invoke those feelings back again. The minute you have it, you think of spraying your first love, walking barefoot in the garden. That's the sort of feeling that you invoke with, with a whiskey. Yeah. He used to work in town where I used to work in as well, Raffles Place. So I definitely miss the times when we were sitting down together drinking. I would say it brings back a lot of memories. You will remember who you've sat with, who you've drank with. The collection started with maybe a bottle or two and helping friends purchase as well. I believe that this has four countries in the making. Number one is Scotch, definitely. Number two, it is actually bottled by uh, independent bottle Acorn in Japan. And number three, we got this in Taiwan. You look at the label, it's pretty French, or even the, the wordings itself, Le Grand uh, Gallery. If you look at the girl, and you really look at her expression, she's actually not too happy. It's because she got a little cut on her leg. Yeah, so that's that's the thing that I'm crazy about when I when I look at a, a whiskey. Money is what you pay, value is what you get. You need to protect your investments, and that's the reason why most of uh, the bottles that are not for drinking or for collecting are usually with the empty. To reduce the amount of alcohol exposure and evaporation. Apart from being a collector, I drink as well. And the key reason was to ensure that I actually have the bottle that I like. I've got a bad habit. I don't keep inventory of my whiskies. <laughs> Friends will come and if I see I don't have enough open bottles, I will just open another bottle. You need good glasses. The beauty of a whiskey or a single malt is always, even after you finish drinking it, the aromas stay in the glass for about half an hour. And we, we really enjoy nosing it. I enjoy drinking, I enjoy passing the knowledge over. I even enjoy giving out bottles to friends. Even with the same whiskey in the glass itself, it will give you different aromas or even no aromas at all. With this tree, yeah. very discernible. Uh, very the nose on this yeah. is very intense. Okay. And if you look at this, when you swirl this, it takes the longest time to come down yeah. because of the quality of the material that's been used to make this glass. As we pour a bottle out, we'll mm -hmm. top it up with something else. Okay. The cool thing about that is, every bottle we produce out of that cask is going to be different. It'll keep changing the balance inside that cask. Okay. It does build up on the finish, that smokiness. Yeah. Very excited to meet Matthew today. He has very interesting ideas. For example, the cask, where you can actually do your own bottling, and it will be certified by him. There's actually a bottle that is actually blended in Singapore. I'll never say goodbye, the sweet romantic bliss. In Scotland itself, you have 130 distilleries and with so many other different genes of whiskies, it's never ending. It matters a lot to share the whisky with the people that you, you most enjoy with, the people that you most care for. And I'm going to say it again, it's always for that. Cheers!